Hey guys, Nathan here, and today I want to kind of, it's another kind of keen detotent update video. I haven't done one in a while, and I thought I, I kind of should just do one just to show you and also have some important things to tell you uh, moreover. So um, as you can see here, this is an addition I've done. Um, and although it's just one extra room, it is still quite a lot of work. So I thought I would show you just in case you were just randomly seeing this video. If you're not, if you're curious of what all these are, these are the uh, commands blocks for the wave spawning, the controlled wave spawning. And you know it said it uses the whole point about a um, a redstone clock testing for an amount of, uh, testing for the amount of team kills, setting this block to uh, air so it can't like always just summon it, and then summoning how many zombies uh, there are. And I actually need to uh, put come up repeaters here, don't I? Good thing I did this video. As you know, guys, it's Sunday, so this is a video. <laughs> no, I think this is actually still a good video because it is an update news, and I do need to do this one. But um, yes, yeah, so that, that's that, and I will just show you which rooms these actually correspond to. Because when I think about it, um, I've actually only got... Well, if you think about King of Totem, the layout, it's actually like, if you kind of did it in squares, it's actually nine squares, like a kind of three by three. And I've done two out of the nine, so as you can see, spawn room and upper right room, I've kind of done it corresponding. And I will just show you, so I can just get up here, god it takes so long, uh, this is the right way I think. So the gold, the gold command blocks basically will spawn the zombie in that room and in that room. Uh, well, in that, you know, that barrier over there. And then, you know, the spawn room took one of the longest because there's four areas. One, two, three, and in this little kind of crevice down here. And that's the spawning for that. So generally, it's just a fact of getting on, getting on with it. But the thing is, as you say, it does. It, just put my render distance down a bit. Yeah, it does take a lot of work because I know you, it's, you know, I, I, you can obviously tell I use MC Edit, but. It's the fact that I've got to get the right coordinates, test it all out, make sure I'm doing the right kind of increase of zombie kills. And it really, it can be quite stressful in some ways. And especially MC Edit, because I know I could just, I don't have to do all this kind of layering, layering, but it's kind of nice because not only does it look sexy, it just makes it a lot more control. Like I can see, okay, there's a problem with the spawning in the spawn room. I can just go to this one. If it was all like on the floor, it'd be a lot messier. So that's that anyway, that's like the main physical changes to the map. But also I've got some good news. Uh, well, I guess you could say for the trailer. Um, because I wanted to make a really cool trailer and I was going to use like some movie voiceovers, like you know, proper professional ones. And there was actually this one kind of website which actually had them, but the download link wouldn't work. But luckily, yesterday, I don't, I don't know how, I've actually figured it out and because it's really hard to download, I managed to download it. So yeah, that's a positive. I've got some really cool things which um, hopefully when it, this map is released, which I, I will promise still by the end of summer, uh, it'll be a pretty nice trailer. Um, I've actually fixed... This is not, you, you, you won't need any mods when you're playing this because there's actually, I didn't know there was, I think there's a game rule, game rule, oh crap, um, I think it's like, do, yeah, see that there, it's game rule, do mob spawning, false, I'm not going to enter it because I think I already have, but basically it means that only, the only kind of mobs, including zombies and just general like hostile mobs, can only spawn in there from command blocks so like if you go in there and there's maybe spiders there won't be any spiders or creepers so that's a nice feature because you know i didn't know there was and that was kind of a feature which maybe we'd need to put a mod on and if we did maybe less people would download it or download the mod so it could make the map a bit worse off so that's kind of you know some news about the general map some physical builds um i guess also plans i said all there is really left to do if i look up i gotta give you an overview as you can see it's like a one two three four five six seven eight nine it's like nine kind of sweat sections yeah, i guess really when i think about it you know it's just doing the spawn the wave spawning like you know with the uh, the spawning all this kind of section here which needs to be done and it's just a bit tedious really you know and i want to make sure i'm doing it the right level of effort um i've still actually got to do the pack punch link up um you know linking up the actual link up i think is done but it's just actually teleporting you to the pack punch and also there wasn't there was a concept i did have i think i've got the curtain don't i on Oh, no, I don't. Okay, I should rechange the difficulty. Um, you know, this teleporter here. So it's actually in progress still. Um, but yeah, so I've still got to do that and link all up. And you know, when you teleport back, you, you teleport to like one of those random rooms. I've still got a concept for that, which I need to do. And actually, the actual pack a punch. I've actually done it, but um, I did something really stupid. I didn't realize that I forgot completely that you should have to pay for it. So it's kind of free at the moment, but that will be changed. And that's kind of it, really. And then there's, there was another concept I had recently about when you die. Like, you know, when you go down zombies, you're like down you have to get revived. I had a really good concept for that, but it's kind of shaky. I'm not sure if it's really possible to do, but, you know, I will kind of come up with something at least so it's like that, because I don't want to add anything artificial in that isn't in the actual map. If you know, I want it to be exactly how it is, so I'm quite picky on that. 
but yeah, I think that's generally all it is there. It's a more shorter review. You know, I said it is Sunday in general, so that's why. But also, I think, you know, if you guys are eager for this map, you know, it's nice to know that, you know, you've got some update news. Uh, I will continue this map. You know, at the moment, my friend hasn't been on as much or been wanting to do the map. So it's kind of been demotivating me a bit. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's not fun knowing that I have to go on this map and just do this. You know, it's different when I was, like, doing the little redstone bits up here. But the fact that, you know, what I've got, I've got to start off by doing, like, a base. Basically, how I do this is I start off by doing this. This is all handmade. You know, and I, what I do is I get the coordinates from a certain area and I, ra I randomize them. So, you know, 280, 255, etc. Um, and then I have to change all these, so team kills. Because it also, you know, has to increase. It can't just have, like, two all the time because it will just be impossible. So, it's got to increase. So, it's like an di increase in difficulty. And then once I've done that, I've got to copy and paste that. And then, again, the whole point is it takes more, but it's more my fault for doing it. But I've got to, like, create on MC Edit, like, a whole bit of gold, you know, or whatever material kind of layer. Copy and paste and switch to that copy of that and paste that you know etc so it's switching 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 10 times so it's like a lot because i think this hopefully these 10 layers should be enough for like round 50 i'm not sure it's just guesstimating but you know of course that will be finalized but it's just a lot of work generally to say that's it's so repetitive you know but that's about it guys thank you so much for watching for this keynote kino, oh, why is my skin normal um for example snapshot uh keynote up keynote to toes and update uh thank you for all the support in general and i'll see you guys in the next minecraft video that i do so thank you guys and see you on monday